they didn't seem to ever settle on their overseas combination, which is really important to to understand what your best combination is. And you may have a subtle change that are according to conditions or your opponent, but not a major change. Um, and they had too many missing parts with form. You know, Shika Darwin had, for his standards, you know, an average IPL. You know, he's normally a 500 locked in every single year. Mm. And, you know, he had a indifferent um, season for his standards. And, uh, you know, the overseas players were very inconsistent. Is it that they have the players and maybe with Besto back and Dhawan with an injury-free season that they'd, and Livingston with an injury-free season, they'd be a big threat again going forward? Or is there still something that's missing in this squad? With uh, something that is not, uh, for, not tangible for us to see, maybe that is what needs to change, maybe the culture that we've been talking about quite a lot in the show. Because I remember sitting during the live auction on a show and looking at Punjab Kings and saying, wow. That's a great team. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a great team on paper. This time as well, I mean, imagine Dhawan getting a lot of runs, Livingston more than two innings, you know, firing. And they've got yeah. the bowling attack, Rahul Chahar comes in as a leg spinner. Yeah. So they've got everything. Maybe a couple of more, uh, sort of more reliable batters. That now they're in shaky territory where they'll have to stick with Dhawan, the captain, who is not a Dhoni or a Rohit mm. Sharma or a Kane Williamson for that matter. Uh, plus, one year later as a batter, how much is it going to offer? So they'll have to look at... Yeah. Uh, some steady kind of battle that we've been talking about, the first class, more the Chitesh sure. Sharma kinds.